Today marks day 20 of the federal government shutdown. Farmers can't get the loans that they promised. People are facing evictions, and the government's so broke, they had to start renting the Lincoln Memorial out on Airbnb. <laughs> and because 800,000 government workers are not being paid, some of them were rallying in D.C. today. So we sent Michael Costa to show some support. It's day 20 of the second longest government shutdown in history. 1995, we're coming for you. Woo! With no end in sight, civil servants are marching on Washington, D.C., and the president knows why. People that won't get next week's pay or the following week's pay, I think if you ever really looked at those people, I think they'd say, Mr. President, keep going. He's talking about people who work for the IRS or Homeland Security or NASA and are about to miss their first paycheck. Time to give these people a chance to speak to the president directly and to tell him to keep going. This is a card for President Trump to tell him to keep going. You write whatever you want to President Trump and his keep going card. American Federation of Government Employees, hell no. He wrote, keep going, Mr. President. We are all not behind you. <laughs> you mean not not is what he meant to write. Stop the BS. Stop the BS. Bad seeds trying to come in from over the border, right? <laughs> We got it, Ryan. See, the people do support the president. You tell President Trump exactly how much you support him and what he's doing. <laughs> Don't hold back. I think this rally just needs a good, simple chance. Keep going, keep going, keep going, Mr. President. Keep going, Mr. President. Where's everybody leaving? Come back. Michael Costa, everyone. Thanks so much, Michael. Now, with all the support behind him, President Trump decided to plow forward on proving his case for a border wall. So today, the Commander-in-Chief put on his travel Barbie outfit and flew down to the southern border to get a first-hand account of the situation. And while he was there, he gave us all a drunk history lesson. They say a wall is medieval. Well, so is a wheel. A wheel is older than a wall. And I looked, and every single car out there, even the really expensive ones that the Secret Service uses, and believe me, they are expensive. I said, do they all have wheels? Yes. Oh, I thought it was medieval. The wheel is older than the wall. You know that? And uh, there are some things that work. You know what? A wheel works and a wall works. You know, if, if a football player got up after a tackle and started talking like that, the trainer would be like, uh, we need to get you to the locker room now. <laughs> Your brain is not okay. <laughs> and just by the way, I, don't even, I can't believe we have to say this. If there are any kids watching that are gonna use this on a history test, walls are actually much older than the wheel, <laughs> right? 6,000 years older than the wheel. Like, back in the day, cavemen had walls. <laughs> so I guess people should stop calling Trump a Neanderthal because a Neanderthal would know that. <laughs> Hashtag not my Neanderthal. <laughs> now, uh, after putting the president's word through Google Translate, I think, I think what, what he's trying to say is that just because the wall is old technology doesn't mean it's not gonna be effective, right? The only problem is, since walls have been around for so long, people have had centuries to figure out how to get through them. <laughs> The president and the Oval Office address and his administration have been pushing this idea now of this, a steel slat barrier, which is already in use down here uh, along the southern border. We know from DHS testing uh, over the course of the last year that all of President Trump's prototypes were breachable in some way. But now for the first time, NBC News has exclusively obtained a photograph of the steel slat barrier style border wall design that was clearly cut through uh, with what we are told is a household saw. Okay, okay. Now, you laugh, but to be fair, to be fair, you can't just get through with a household saw, okay? You also need some immigrant can-do work ethic. Because <laughs> let me tell you, because let me tell you, I've tried, I've tried sawing before, and that shit takes forever. <laughs> After five minutes, I was like, forget it, I'm just gonna bury the body in one piece. Like, <laughs> actually, it's so hard to saw through that level of steel that I think if a Mexican manages to saw his way into America, we should just give that person a job. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, like, just hire them. In fact, here's my pitch, here's my pitch. 
that should be how you do merit-based immigration, right? <laughs> However they manage to get in should just be, like, the skill that you use to your advantage in America. If you saw it through, you work in construction. Go, straight away, straight away. <laughs> if they climb over the wall, you're a firefighter now. Go, 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 go. <laughs> and then all you guys running away, we'll see you on the Olympic team! <laughs> USA! 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 You, uh, no, no, you, S.A., you, S.A. <laughs> now, now, you, now, you'd think, you'd think, you'd think the news that you can just saw through a steel wall would be devastating news for Trump. But apparently, he already knows about this, and he's not concerned. There are pictures this morning showing steel barrier wall being sawed straight through. What good is a steel wall if they can saw through it? There's... Nothing that can't be penetrated, but you fix it. But it's a very difficult thing to do. But that's a wall, and they have other walls. We have many walls under consideration. Even concrete. There's acid that can go through concrete. Don't give them more ideas. What are you doing? <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible. You're gonna build a wall and then tell everyone how to get through it? <laughs> Trump would be the worst bank robber ever. This is a stick-up, but I've got weak wrists. If you hit me right here, the gun will fly out. It's just gonna fly out right here. But look, I get what he's saying. Again, I get it. Even if a wall isn't 100% impenetrable, it's still better than nothing. And America's gonna need all the help it can get because the way Trump tells it, things on the border are about to get nuts. Here's the story. There is another... Major caravan forming right now in Honduras. And so far, we're trying to break it up. But so far, it's bigger than anything we've seen. Wow, another caravan. It's so convenient how whenever Trump needs to win something, a big, scary caravan is always coming to kill us all. Because <laughs> first it was the midterms, and now it's the shutdown. Like, I feel like if Trump isn't careful, he's gonna run into a boy who cried wolf situation, you know? Someday, there is gonna be a big caravan full of ISIS drug dealers and Shreks pouring over the border, <laughs> and Trump will be like, there really is a caravan this time, and we'll be like, whatever, old man. Ah, oh, the Shrek's eating my face! <laughs> but still, like, a caravan is forming across the southern border and making its way north. I don't know why, but the president makes it sound like a hurricane of Hondurans is heading for the U.S. <laughs> You don't know. I mean, like, say what you want about him as president, but Donald Trump would make a great immigration weatherman. Here's the story. <laughs> there is another major caravan forming right now in Honduras. And so far, we're trying to break it up. But so far, it's bigger than anything we've seen. And a drone isn't going to stop it. And a sensor isn't going to stop it. But you know what's going to stop it in its tracks? A nice, powerful wall. So... So clearly... Clearly, Trump is not budging from his insistence on a wall, which means this shutdown will keep going on for who knows how long. And that's going to be extremely hard on a lot of these workers, especially considering that many of these government employees have to keep working, even if they're not getting paid. And I'm talking everyone, all the way from Secret Service to the TSA. And say what you want about the TSA, but they work hard to keep us safe. If they don't get paid for a long time, I'm afraid that airports could start to look a lot like this. Hey, did they say when we gonna get paid? Nope. <laughs> you good, man, come on through. <laughs> Yo, I'm thinking about becoming an Uber driver. That's a good idea. I might renew my license. Do you get a car with that? Nah, those are personal. They smell too bad. I mean, who knows how long this thing's gonna last? Trump said it could be years. Years? Yo, that's crazy. Man, at least when I worked at McDonald's, we could, like, take free burgers home and stuff. Here, if I take somebody's luggage, then it's a problem. Yeah, we just gotta face it. Washington doesn't care about the little man. All they care about is lining their pockets with corporate dollars. And whoa, 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 hey! a sandwich? Oh, my God, I'm starving. Go ahead. Have a safe flight. Yeah. Is that by me? Mm-hmm. Can I get some of that? Yeah, man, jump in. Oh, my God, I haven't jump eaten in. since Tuesday. Oh, oh.
Roy Wood Jr., Jabuki Young White, everybody.